This is workspaces I'm going to show you here. That's actually not seeing workspaces yet. You're seeing basically just a regular in-touch screen. It's in running in a browser. And I've just gotten that browser out of full screen mode. And now I'm accessing something called a workspace. A workspace is basically a space where you can create your own graphics on the fly at runtime. Don't need any development. You don't really even need much training or any, if any at all inside of a workspace. Workspaces are completely responsive so that when you build a workspace, these tiles are rearranged. If you put them on a tablet, you put it on a phone, everything will just automatically rearrange itself inside of the solution. And the cool thing here is that if you've ever been in a case where you just wanted to put a few data points together so you can see them and they are not available on a current screen, you can do this on the fly. Here I just hit the new button. The screen, the, the symbols you're seeing on the right are just anything I put into a folder called workspaces. So in my tool sets, if you ever work with the graphic toolbox inside of InTouch or in the IDE, you put things into tool sets. Anything I put in the workspaces tool set just shows here, and then you can point and click and set up with, with the exposed custom properties. So these are just symbols I created myself um, to put this demo together. Workspaces is by far my favorite new feature here, but if it wasn't for the web capability, we wouldn't be able to manage this because once I have a workspace, now I can publish it here and anybody else connecting that same workspace now has access to this. So we're starting to facilitate that collaboration on content and content management directly within InTouch.